Today I did a poll on Twitter and I asked what you wanted to see if you wanted to see a makeup collection or a room tour. I've filmed this video about 500 times. I <laughs> totally know what to kill myself. <laughs> Subscribe. So this is the box that all of the goods are in. It's a NYX box. £50. Now if you think about that, that's a bargain because you get five sections. You get five sections, so it's technically £10 for each. That is so bad. But it's like sturdy and you can take it to dance competitions and fancy events and it won't get broken. I'm going to start first off in this section with the products, okay? So we've got this Gimme Brow from Benefit in shade number 3, which I've never used. Unfortunately, my gran has and I say unfortunately because uh, Benefit actually emailed my, my dad and he said that it was toxic. I don't have the heart to tell my dad that I gave it to my gran. And I don't have the heart to tell my gran that it's toxic. So, she's still alive. NYX or NYX, I'm just going to butcher the name. I'm sorry, it's just going to happen. Um, Matte Finish Setting Spray, which I believe you put on at the end, but I'm not sure. Then I have these two eyeshadows, which are from Urban Decay. They just sit nice on your eyes like this. Okay. So the, this one as in snatch I like this one because it's really like it's like a pinky colour see that one pink and it has like little bits of gold in it I don't know if you can see see the gold I have this one called midnight cowboy I know a cowboy <laughs> and this one is like a silvery moonlight it's kind of like a, it's like the moon oh my gosh so those are those ones and I have this this isn't in order by the way because my life isn't even in order, so... <laughs> then I have this, which I have many problems with. This is the Smashbox Halo Highlighting Wand in Pearl. Now, I'm not a beauty guru. I don't know how to work a lot of things. I don't even know how to work my own body. This doesn't work. It probably does work. I'm probably just doing the wrong thing and I'm going to get hundreds of comments. They're like, <laughs> you don't know how to work makeup. This is it. Um, I've actually considered texting people about it, but then I think I just sound dumb. So, so this is it. It's a wand. Sure it is a wand, because a magician needs to know how to work this. But it's like one of these like brush things, which I've had before, by the way. But like when I push it, there's nothing. Like, I try to like push it and I see sometimes I see sparkles. But it just doesn't come out. I'm really looking forward to this because I like the Smashbox LA Lights thing. So if you know how to work this, let me know. Because this is a Clinique Chubby Stick. Chubby Stick. <laughs> chubby Stick. And this is like the LA Lights. Like how it's like, the, like you know, like the Chubby Stick. Like the cream form. And this is really pink. Which I like. Because I like to be pink. You see it? Do you see it? Is it blinding you yet? I got this in a Marks and Spencer's advent calendar and it's the Formula Innovate, Innovate Radiance Reveal Peel. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, it's gel. Oh. I don't really feel myself changing. Wait, but I feel stuff coming out of my skin. Is this like how you like... Wait, what? Wait, what the frick? Wait. Wait, what the frick? Wait, what the frick though? Like, there's literally little white things on my... Wait, let me just... Let's try this again on well, this hand because I'm really freaking freaked out right now. Oh my gosh! It brings like white stuff out in your skin? What the frick? I shouldn't be doing this because my skin has been quite good recently. Now I'm getting, I'm gonna get like, it's like, I'm not put it on my chin. It's like dandruff, but like on your skin. Like, this is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer. Just want to pound it in like you're pounding your pitch. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a throat. Sorry, I'm giving. Yeah, this is a naked 
Urban Decay Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. It's literally the only concealer I use. So yeah. Then I have the foundation, not Urban Decay foundation. This is a Clinique Super Balance Makeup Tint or Taunt. I really don't know how to say things. This is in shade 27 Alabaster. It's just a foundation, you know, just to whack it on anytime I'm feeling like I need a little bit coverage. Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Now, if you're looking for a colour that will truly stay all day, like stay on all of the rest of your life, NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. NYX NYX, don't scream at me, please. It's also pink. I don't know how it's... It's, I think a little goes a long way here because it's literally, I know you can't see it, but I had it on my hand one time and it, it, it got nasty. Oh, I love this. This is a brow vol conditioning primer in the shade, probably zero. One, zero. I don't even think it has a shade. You twist. See, this thing tells me what to do. It tells me to twist, to get, twist, and you get the gel to come out. It's basically just an eyebrow gel, but it works so good. And I like the little things here. Microfiber, I don't know. But it just works wonders. And it doesn't leave, like, you know, the little glippy bits in your eyebrows? I'll explain later. And then I have this, which is the only thing I use on my eyebrows. Um, it's the Cabrow from Benefit in shade one and it actually works quite well you know it's quite good i've used quite a lot there is quite a lot in here just that shade you know kind of matches me but yes <coughs> panic which is highbrow you know if you just want to high five your brow oh wait that's like asmr wait ready 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 Wait, no, that wasn't a good one. What you're about to see is potentially the funniest moment of my life. Ow! That hurt. This is for highlighting your brow. I clearly must have used a lot because it literally... And do you know what this reminds me of? You know how in, like, primary two, you would have, like, the big, thick, like, pencils? That's this. So that's that. This, this is a funny story. This is another one of these misguided things, but... This, I thought was like, you know, like people put it in your eyes. So it's like a white eyeliner. Like here, it's actually a lip liner. So, <laughs> for months, I've been putting this in my eye. So, this just teaches you kids. Read the labels. A Vaseline, because fire meat Vaseline, my right, see ya. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. And Eden. I like primer for your I know a lot of people don't like primer, but I like primer. Then we have this NYX or NYX Control Freak, which I do not like. Sorry to say. It's just to this is the thing I was talking about. It leaves bits and it looks like you have eyebrow dandruff, which isn't cute, honey. It's also to comb your brows. However, I feel like it like cuts my brows. You know, like shaves them, like it's kind of sore. I have this, which is a benefit, what's up? This is what I mean by everything's like fun size here, you know? Benefit Wola Lash, fun story. This I've had for like three years. <laughs> it's when it goes out of date in six months, so <laughs> I love conjunctivitis. Okay, so this roller lash. Oh, wait, never mind. Wrong story, wrong mascara. I like roller lash though. And then I have a Sprite Lip Smacker. This is the Naked Ultimate Basics palette by Urban Decay. And I love because it's like just like all the colors all together all in the one place. Urban Decay Naked 3 palette just because I'm scared in case this falls out again because literally one shadow. <gasps> it was Limit that fell out. One shadow fell out the last time I opened it and it was Limit. I have been pushed to my limit. I'm scared to like tip it because they'll all fall out. Well, like these, this section will. But like, this is it. I've been told Naked 3 makes blue eyes look nice. Um, and apparently eyes are the, the place for the soul. So hopefully, boy.
noise will come from. The nudity, I know you're noticing a theme, nudity, nudity, nude, 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 nude. Well, this isn't the only thing that's about to be nude. It's a family friendly channel. This is <laughs> nudity from the BAM. Close your eyes because there's about to be some porn. So, this is the palette. I like to, I like to stick to neutrals, you know, I'm not, I don't think I suit black eyes. Um, I don't really like being punched in the face a lot, but some people have a different taste. I tried to, you know, just to stick to more neutral colours. The Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette because I really wanted the Alice in Wonder the Alice in Wonderland palette, but it was like sold out. The Urban Decay Metallic palette, which I believe is like a newly released. I never know how to take it like right out. So. These are like party shades, you know, like you're going to a party, you're like rocking it up. Huh? Is that what the kids say? Mascara, the roller lash and the big size. XNYX first base, which you put on before your before your makeup. Then these are like my two contoury things. This one is the Smashbox contour palette trio thing. It's got the 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 contour, the bronze, and the highlight. I think that's what they're all called. I have the Manizer Sisters from the Balm. The Balm is honestly like one of my favourite companies ever just because it's just like so vintagey and I love vintage and like old stuff and like old music and it just reminds me of that. Anyways, so this is like the highlighter, the, the blush and the bronzer. Then I have the Benefit Posy Balm which is one of my favourite lipsticks ever. And like this is the colour, it looks really pink, but when it's on my hand it looks like it's not even there. So it's it there. But it's just such a lovely colour and again the packaging is so cute. Then I have this, which I'm not really sure what to do with it. Yeah. It's like, it's like an armour, isn't it? Double chin lifter? Anyone? Favourite highlighter in the whole entire universe, which everyone always comments on whenever I'm wearing it and they're like, Damn girl, no. <laughs> this is a Naked Illuminated, Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlighter and it li this looks like the moon. If you thought the other highlighter looked like the moon, hello, this looks like the moon. And the packaging is so cute and you get a little mirror here, you get that and then you flip it all up and you get a little brush and this is all velvet. Yeah. And I think this is like £40 or something, but I think it's actually really worth it for the amount of highlight you get. And then plus a little brush. Benefit Ready Set Brow, which is another brow gel which I like to use. And I really, 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 really like this one because it's just like the the wand on it is so good. And it's so compact and yes. MAC Bullet, I believe it's called, and the shade Mango Mango Re Retro Matte Liquid Colour. And it looks like this colour, that's why I got it. But when it's actually on you, it's like orange. So lesson learned, kids. I uh, have another highlighter at Christmas time. <sighs> Santa Claus went a bit out in the highlighters. So. But I like this one too. This one is Dandelion Twinkle, which is also a really soft highlighter if you just want to, you know, if you're at school, you don't want to blind people too much, you know, you want to respect people's eyes. So yeah. My back is really sore. I literally think I have scoliosis. I love this. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. Look at that. Look at that. And it's so nice. Primer Hydrating Confidence Boost Primer. <laughs> I need this. Times 10. <laughs> um, uh, oh, this is good. This is a HD NYX Studio Photo Finish Eyeshadow Base. Which I really do like. Urban Decay Primer Potion High Beam. Another High Beam. Shy Beam. You know? Introvert one day, extrovert another. Oh my god, my back hurts. I literally feel like I'm pregnant. Wouldn't be surprised after watching so many Harry videos. Thanks for watching. If you have makeup, if you can relate to this video, then subscribe because I'm almost at 50 subscribers and if I get 50 subscribers, I'll do something crazy, like jump off a bridge. I'm joking. I know a lot of people want me to, but not today, folks. <laughs>